Now, for every single day that goes by, it seems like this entire ASAP Rocky situation is getting scarier and scarier. So yeah, let's talk about it. In a couple days, it'll be an entire month since ASAP Rocky got locked up in Sweden for what I like to call defending himself. In the video that started it all, we could see that ASAP Rocky and his team were being followed by two guys who, let's call it for what it is, were harassing them. In another video, we also saw that Rocky was making it very clear to the camera that he did not want any problems with these guys. But obviously, as we all know, that situation then escalated to one of the guys getting a well deserved ass beating and i honestly thought that the next video i was gonna make was gonna be titled something along the lines of asap rocky is free but unfortunately not there's been a couple people who've gotten involved in trying to free asap rocky one of them is donald trump in his own words he got contacted by kanye who of course wanted to see rocky free now according to trump he said that he was gonna contact the swedish prime minister so this entire situation could possibly get resolved this was a couple days ago and the swedish prime minister responded pretty much saying and i quote in sweden everyone is the same in the eyes of the the law, even visitors coming from other countries, the Swedish government can or won't try to influence the prosecutors or the court. So I guess uh, there's that. As you can see, the Swedish government isn't gonna try to resolve anything. Matter of fact, they're putting up their hands in a situation. Like I said in my last video about this entire situation, those guys were asking for trouble because they were harassing him and his team after being told, I don't know, like 20 or 30 times to leave them alone. And it got to the point where one of them got his ass beat, which me personally, I wouldn't want it any other way. But then again, you know, we're talking talking about the law here, you do something like beating up another person, you face the consequences of that even though it might have been justified. If you get caught selling drugs, the cops won't care at all. If you wanted to provide for your family, put some food on a table, your circumstances, at least when it comes to the law, has zero effect on the outcome. That's just how things are, obviously to an extent by the way. But if you commit a crime, you did just that. You committed a crime. Moving on though, let's talk about some information I found out about the so-called victim. So this guy himself has been convicted of assault in the past and the reason why no one is talking about this? Well, according to some of my Swedish friends, because I got a couple of them over there, the mainstream media in Sweden are not covering this. They're completely, you know, just ignoring this fact. TMZ just posted an article about this, and yes, I did fact check everything they talked about, but let's check out the article they posted, and this is what it says. ASAP Rocky alleged victim has criminal assault record. The man at the center of the ASAP Rocky assault case, the man who provoked a rapper and even attacked him before ASAP reluctantly snapped back, was convicted of criminal assault in Sweden three years ago. Mustafa Jafari, Rocky's alleged victim, victim was convicted of striking a man in his forehead and beating the victim's face back in 2016 when Jafari was 16 years old. It happened on the streets of Stockholm, the very place Jafari harassed and assaulted ASAP and his crew earlier this month. Jafari was prosecuted and convicted of assault and is sentenced 30 hours of community service. He was also ordered to pay his victim around $500 in cash. Jafari was also convicted of two minor drug offenses, one in November 2017 and the other in May 2018. He was ordered to pay a fine for both but served no jail time. The crazy thing about this is we're not hearing about this guy's problematic past. There's videos of him harassing ASAP Rocky and his team. On top of that, he himself has been convicted of assault. Putting two and two together, is it not clear that ASAP Rocky is not the problem here? On top of that, the guy himself won't be charged with anything, even though he's a person who blasted his damn headphones on the security guard's face. There's a very clear bias against ASAP Rocky in this case, and the fact that Sweden might have to pay Rocky millions if he's found not guilty says a lot about that. ASAP Rocky's case is getting scarier by the day and it looks like all the odds seem to be against him. As the situation keeps on developing, it's clear that the Swedish prosecutors are further trying to paint him as a villain when he's really not. It's just looking bad on all levels. Clearly, he was not the perpetrator in this case and all I can say is free Rocky till it's backwards. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the developments of this entire situation regarding ASAP Rocky. I felt like I had to make another video on this because as you can see, clearly there's been, you know, a couple of very interesting developments. But what do you personally think about what's happened? thus far. Everything from, you know, the victim's criminal past to Donald Trump stepping in to how the Swedish legal system are handling ASAP Rocky's case. What do you think about this? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this.